have a question about the grammar. We go to Actville. You know what Actville is? Yeah. We, we followed the standards of Actville. They said not to teach grammar to the students. But uh, with the grammar confusion with the students, if you don't teach it to them, they're not going to be able to write or to learn conjugation. Should it be part, important part, or important lesson that should be integrated or included? Okay, I mean, based on... Uh, Based on universal theory by Chomsky, we all born with the infrastructure to learn language. We all born that way. All you have to do is to stimulate it. Is to stimulate it because we have the infrastructure that that there is a verb, there is an object, there is a subject. This one it's it's common in every language. So all you have is to stimulate it. That's why we should not focus on grammar, focus on vocab in the structure. Focus on vocab and the structure. The problem is with the Arabic language down here, they don't read what, what, or they don't know what research they are uh, right now. They use the old way. The new way, focus on the structure, focus in the vocab, let the repertoire of the vocab to grow, and let them use it to retain it. But don't teach them this is fa'il subject, this is maf'ul bi. Conjugation is very important because conjugation is the main main thing of learning or expressing yourself. So conjugation is not considered part of the grammar, but like fa'il, maf'ul, these things. But focus on teaching the structure. al idafa teach al idafa teach jumlat al-sifa, teach al-mubtada or al-khabar, these are not the grammar, these are structure. So all, all we have to do, teaching the grammar is very dry subject, and people, they don't like it, but at the same time, it doesn't serve anything. Be included. <laughs> yeah, and even the best speaker in Arabic, they still make a mistake. The best speaker, the best orator, still make a mistake. That's why there is a saying called second Tesla. Second Tesla, that mean put sukun at the end, of the sentence or of the word, it will be, you'll save yourself. I mean, that's for the best speaker. That's what they use. So even the best speaker cannot match 100% the grammar. Thank you. you have time for questions? Uh, is there another point more question? Or, you know, yeah. Okay. Uh, the question builds on what you said, that uh, the Arabic language is not going to die. Uh, out of your yeah, experience, professor, do you feel that uh, the second generation or third generation of Arab Americans will be able to speak Arabic? I think, yeah, yes, they will, they will. It, take, it takes to be a 100% Arabic speaker, it takes 2,400 hours. That's before, long time ago, yeah. I mean, Cairo University, that's the research at Cairo University said that. And it's headed by an American, uh, Roger Allen, one day from Pennsylvania University. He was there, and they came to that research. It took you about 2,400 hours, which about four years of study. Okay, I, say, I think right now, with the new approaches, it takes less, and the people are able. Arabic language is very beautiful language. When you, when you get the essence to it, you will fall in love with it. So you want to continue, okay? Especially, especially the... The, non, the people who has no relation with Arab, who, who, their score is the most. In my class, the people who are the, on the top are American. I mean, they, they never ate hummus even. So <laughs> just, they score 100 percent. They score, they, they are easier for them to process, easier for them, they, their score. I think our generation, uh, our second generation, they are, they'll, be, they'll be in touch with their language. They'll be in touch. Just right now, what happened right now, the Arab world is down, okay? When the Arab world is down, and we have a bad reputation. As Arab, the media put us down. So people in general will not look up to you. They will forget that we have the richest uh, Torah, Okay, culture and custom. They don't know this. But when I think the Arab goes back as a normal nation, people will look at, they will find how much they, don't forget the Arab, the Arab country, they stay until the Turkish Empire 
400 years, 400 years, and even the 400 years were not able to eliminate any Arabic word, did not introduce any Turkish word. So figure out how strong is this culture in this language. It's very strong. Yani Arab has in their disposal a great culture, a great wealth of culture and custom, poetry, literature. They have so many things. Now, most of you, when you graduate, you put a gown and a hat, right? The gown and the, the, the robe. This is, this is an Arabic tradition. This is Arabic tradition. In the 10th century, people of Europe, they used to come to Andalusia, and these, and they learn. After they learn, they imitate their teacher. They go home by the hat and the gown. And later on, it stays as something, uh, as a habit in the university. That's an Arabic tradition. Yes, I'm sorry, is somebody else? No. Just your thoughts on the um, the white accent that was just recently the white the, the legend of Beirut, the white accent that was created by the, in the, in the internet among Arabic speaking people. So it's like it's an easy way of speaking Arabic among people that are from different countries. So like say if you teach Arabic right now in Morocco, would you use the classical, the modern Arabic language, or would you use a simplified Arabic? I think the, the best way to communicate between different area is to use modern standard. Don't use the, the local. Nobody will answer the local. And besides using these, uh, these, the letter, around, they call it transliteration, not the transliteration. Use the Latin letter for Arabic. It's totally wrong, man. It's devastating. So people should not use this. Anyway, it's not, it's not widely spread, but people should not use it. People should not. But I think modern standards is the best way. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.